we pray to the same Lord, we pray for the same thing, that the Lord in heaven will help all of us to provide full and permanent peace among all of us, particularly that you young people, young girls, young boys, will not know any more war, will not know hatred, will not uh, try to govern each other, but to govern itself and help each other. I must say that I have had the privilege to visit the new Pope. And following his visit, I went to Assisi, the birthplace of the Franciscana uh, school. And by the way, I didn't know, but uh, Assisi is not only known for its very special character as a center of Christianity, of the Franciscanus, but it also saved the Jewish life during the Holocaust. The priest and the people of Assisi hide away Jewish people from Italy when the Germans took it over and they saved their life. But I was particularly impressed with the personality and the spirit of the Holy Father. He really brought a new wind to the whole of humanity, I think. He reminded us that the religion is first of all a spirit not an organization, not an establishment. A spirit that is based on the most profound values of human being, to care for the weak, to help the poor, to love the sisters and brothers. And with him, it comes naturally. He doesn't have to make any effort. When you see him, you feel the greatness of modesty, the purity of faith, the hope that all of us are equal human beings and we have to live together. I came here to offer my blessings on behalf of the State of Israel. And in the State of Israel we have Jewish people, Muslim people, Christian people. As a state we are responsible for your safety, for your freedom, for your holy sites, for you feeling here as full citizens without any discrimination, full and respected and useful citizens that carry with them the hope that unites us, a hope of peace, a hope for a better world. And we can live in a better world. The Lord is doing what he can, but we have to do what we have to do. And the Lord asked us to live in peace. We have to follow His wish and our destiny. And, uh, you know, I thought the death of Mandela, on one hand, was also a great spirit. Doesn't matter to which religion he belonged. And the birth of the new spirit of the Pope met somewhere together at the highest point where greatness can meet and can offer brotherhood and hope for all of us. I wish that the whole Israel, the whole Middle East, will look like this small but old church. Where people are sitting and singing together and wishing happiness and are offering friendship, one to another, one to all, and all to each of us. 
It is my pleasure really to bring you the greetings of the whole people of Israel because the holiday of one religion is a holiday for the whole country. And for me it's a privilege to come and participate in that celebration. May God and people meet together in the noble spirit of hope, of peace, of friendship. Time has come. We almost had a white Christmas this year. I hope next year we shall have a rose Christmas. We shall see and taste the smell of this beautiful flower of peace. God bless you. Thank you.